Travel back in time with a trip inside the Iowa's News Now Vault. Do it. His day begins with a warm-up lap. After his rails are deemed ice-free, Napoleon is blasted with 440 volts, making him sort of a blazing fury of rabbit lightning. The man who throws the switch is Keith Nickel. He can crank Napoleon up to about 40 miles per hour. Did you happen to have an electric train set when you were little? Or? Yes, I did. <laughs> so you're, you're well trained for this kind of thing. Yeah, but this is a lot different. I imagine a lot, a lot, different. lot more on uh, riding on this. Mm -hmm. A lot more. Nickel says Napoleon has become dog food only twice. Once when the rails became too slick for him. The other case was in the fog. <laughs> when you can't see it. When I couldn't see it, no. When they came out of the fog, they were right with the lure. The Greyhounds have now reached the starting box. Every race, Napoleon gets a neat introduction from announcer Chuck Lutz. Here comes Napoleon. And they're off, moving on. It's one of those catchy phrases no one can stop imitating. Here comes Napoleon. And here comes Napoleon. So do people pay a lot of attention to Napoleon? You bet. But how much can a stuffed rabbit really know? Enough to sell a sheet of his daily picks for a buck. So do you pick these regularly? Do you go with the Napoleon? It's the first time I've been up here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so you're, you're forced to rely on a rabbit's knowledge, huh? True. He probably's got more knowledge than I have anyway. <laughs> Faster than a speeding greyhound and smarter than the average hare, Napoleon is surely some kind of super rabbit. I wonder what he'd look like in a cape. John Miller, Channel 2 News, Waterloo.